Community College uh, has introduced interior design program. This is a new program. It's uh, been around for about uh, three years by now. This is the third year. We already had uh, two classes graduating and it's a program that actually started out and grew out of architecture program. And what basically happened was that I was actually getting phone calls from interior designers that were looking to hire some of our architectural students because they were looking to hire some people. And some of the students were also saying that maybe architecture is a little bit too much for them, so they were asking if we would offer interior design courses. So literally there was interest in the field. And so um, because we already have here, you know, the facilities and we have, you know, labs, we figured then why don't we offer interior design? turns out that no other community colleges offer actually interior design program. And the only other uh, college that actually had interior design around here was Gibbs College, but that college is actually closing. And so right now uh, our program is really the only one around in the area and it's also an affordable uh, you know, solution for many of the students. What, what the students are required to do when they come here, uh, first semester, they take uh, some of the introduction, uh, introductionary courses, and that is um, interior, I mean, uh, uh, architectural visualization and architectural CAD. And later on, uh, they eventually progress into next semester, the following semester, they will take uh, the uh, 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 interior design studio one after that first semester. So during that first semester, what they learn really are the basics, you know, how to use the computer, you know, AutoCAD, how to do and make uh, basic models, you know, using uh, simple tools, cutting, you know, using cardboard. You can actually see some of the examples here. And, um, and that sort of, uh, you know, the first course really prepares them for the basics. My name is Mark Goodwin. I uh, am an adjunct professor here at Norwalk Community College in the Architecture and Interior Design Department. I teach uh, the Architectural Visualization class and Interior Design Studio 101. Both of the classes I teach are introduction classes. So what I focus on is introducing students to the idea of being a designer, right. to um, what it means to start thinking in, on those, in, in those terms. A lot of them, the concept of designing something is, is fairly new. So whether they're architects or interior designers, I try to introduce them to the to, to the whole to the whole picture of the whole thing. So everything from drawing to understanding how to come up with a design concept to actually implementing it and presenting it and putting it together for a client. Um, all three of those things are things that they probably never really done before and, and put together. So again, whether it's architecture, interior design, it's all um, it's all kind of the same in terms of you know, introducing them to the whole profession as a whole, which also includes history and you know products and construction methods. So we kind of go through through it through it all. One of the other things I try to teach students is to understand the concepts. So we have these great CAD pro CAD programs here that can draw amazing things. But I think it's also helpful to be able and intuitive to be able to draw something that comes, you know, that you can do draw with your hand directly. So we, we kind of study those drawing techniques, those three-dimensional drawing techniques, understanding how they're actually created, even though the computer creates them a lot of times. When you're sitting alone and you're coming up with a sketch idea, it's helpful to be able to know how to draw something three-dimensionally 
whether it's an axometric drawing or a plan oblique or a perspective of something. My name is Susan Napoli. Um, I'm a student at Norwalk Community College and registered in interior design. The class is absolutely amazing. I'm thoroughly enjoying every class session. It runs six hours a week on Tuesday and Thursday for three straight hours, but the instructors are tremendous. They have a background in architecture and clearly a vision on where they see um, different design concepts being implemented in today's market. So we have practical experience in class where we're actually learning to draw um, and put our concepts down on paper. We're using the computer so that we can sketch it in using sophisticated programs. And then we've made trips to um, local um, design center stores for bath issues where we're looking at different commodes and showers and tubs so we know all of the pieces that have to go into the design itself. Well what I, do, I know that a lot of the students, a lot of the interior design students go on field trips almost in every class they're in. In the materials class they go off and they visit showrooms. Um, in our class we just the other night we went and visited a local bath and a, a kitchen bath and a lighting showroom nearby class. Um, the students got to walk around the showroom, which was which was exciting to get to actually see the materials and see the plumbing fixtures and the cabinetry and the tile and how it all goes together. Um, so that's something I try to do, but I do know in a lot of their classes they go, they go on a lot of different field trips. Um, I heard that NCC was a really had a really good program for architecture, and when I came, um, I liked it immediately. All the teachers just explain things really well and they make it really easy to understand. Uh, right away you feel comfortable in the class and everyone else is really nice too and it's just like right away you feel like you advance so far so quick. Well, <clears throat> they have two choices after they graduate. They can go and work for an interior design uh, firm. That's one uh, thing they can do and you know, work uh, with the two-year degree and, you know, make a good living. Or they can, maybe after working uh, in the field for a year or two, uh, they can transfer okay. and get a bachelor's degree in interior design. The thing that I love the most about the class is the fact that the students that are here are just as interested in the design, interior design, as I am, so it brings a whole community of different people from different backgrounds together. Um, and that we're able to take something that's creative and turn that into something that can be used to be productive and earn money. The one thing I like about the most about the program is probably how small the classes are because you get a lot of attention from the uh, teachers. So you're never, you never fall behind. You know? If you don't understand something, they're there right away. And um, it's just, it makes it, like I, at other schools, you know, there'll be 200 kids in a class or something, and it's just easy for them to not know you. But here, every teacher knows your name, they know like who you are, they know all about you, what your personality is. If you're not there one day, they'll ask you like, what happened, if you're okay, and it just, it's really personal. Well, I think the program here, starting with this room that we're sitting in, is a pretty amazing facility. Having seen some other interior design programs in the area, uh, I feel like they actually they, they went far away to invest in the CAD programs and the three-dimensional programs. So there's a lot of opportunities here to learn sort of the new technologies. Um, at the same time, I think there's a great balance between uh, the sort of the, the computer technologies and the um, uh, uh, you know, and some of the sort of hands-on things that you can do. And I always call my studio a working studio. We're here drawing and building models and making things, um, as well as using the computers. But the technology here obviously is, is uh, very advanced and excellent. Also, I think a lot of the professors here, or all the ones I, I know that, and, and including myself, are out in the field and working. So I think by, by coming in, working with someone who's actually in the profession and, and, uh, and, and is doing that as their career on a daily basis is a nice balance. So I feel like I'm lucky as an adjunct to be able to be here and be able to do that at the same time and bring my sort of real life experiences directly into the classroom. I absolutely think everybody should take a course in interior design. Well, if, uh, if anybody is interested in, uh, 
either interior design or architecture or construction technology, they can uh, contact NCC for more information. We have a website that has plenty of information. As a matter of fact, our department, which is uh, Art, uh, Architecture and Design Department, um, has just introduced a new website uh, with information that is geared specifically for the area that we are in. And so I would encourage anybody to go in there and um, check the website, get information there, or simply call up the school uh, or call me personally and um, set up an appointment and come in and take a look at uh, what we have here to offer. And I think people will be very, very surprised to see that you know, a community college actually has a lot to offer and that we have state-of-the-art uh, labs and that the uh, quality of instruction here is really, really high.